Good morning. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real live. Live this morning. I'm going to give y'all a minute to get your notifications. I've got some stuff I want to tell you. I want to just help a sister out. I'm putting up this morning my rhubarb jam. I've got all of them canned. Um, talk a little bit about canning. I have a lot of questions about canning. Okay? Here's what I'll tell you as a blanket statement. If you've never canned, then you need to read up on the proper way to do it because it does, it can make you sick. You know, if you can say green beans and they go bad because you didn't do the right process. I do a lot of shortcuts on this page because I've been doing it a long time. That doesn't mean I don't make mistakes, but I'm just telling you when I open up a can of anything that isn't done properly, I can smell it or look at it and tell you that it's spoiled. So I say that to say this, don't be afraid of it because you, you can do it. Um, it just takes a little practice and you'll be so proud of yourself once you're done. Good morning, Anita, and good morning, Tracy, and good morning, Judy and Angela. What's up, Angela Britt? Um, yeah, don't be afraid of it. I have so many people say in comments, oh, I'm afraid of a pressure cooker. And listen, I'm gonna tell you, I like a friend, I've never had a pressure cooker to explode. I don't know why they used to do that. I, I don't know if it was a faulty uh, a seal or what, but I have in 30, uh, 33 years, I've never had one. And I was a beginner at 33 years ago. My mother-in-law taught me to can. So I'm just telling y'all that it's it's doable. I'm actually making stinky boy detergent this morning. If you've ever seen, uh, and, and those who follow my page know that I have two boys, 24 and 28, that played sports all through school, beginning in elementary school, and they've worked on this farm. So when I tell y'all this stinky boy detergent works, I have testimonials to that fact. Um, one of which uh, is my cousin Brett owned a nail salon and they got, I don't know, stuff all over their towels. And I, I gave him some stinky boy detergent and it cleaned him up and he was shocked. The other thing, um, when um, Tyler Wolf used to work on the farm, when he went off to college, I sent him some stinky boy detergent because he played baseball and kids stink and you can't get the stink out sometimes. And so he had teammates that would ask him, hey man, can I get some of that stinky boy detergent that your friend's mom made? Because it works. So I got the recipe from a fellow um, mom, boy mom, who had wrestlers, both of her kids wrestled. So she had the exact same issues as I have. So I'm gonna post a video. Um, you know what, it's already posted actually. You can go in the search bar and search, cooking kind of keeping a real stinky boy detergent, it'll be there. Um, to, uh, yesterday when I started this process, um, I wanna make liquid stinky boy detergent. So I mixed it up just exactly like I would if it was dry detergent and I have got it on the pot, on the in, in this pot boiling. I'm gonna take y'all over here and let you see it. Um, I boiled it yesterday for about an hour once I got it mixed up. And I forgot about it, to be honest with you, because I set it over on the washing machine to let it get cool before I put it back into containers. And I forgot about it. So this morning, when I was doing laundry, I, I saw it again, and it's actually ready. Um, overnight, some of the ingredients settled to the bottom of it. So I have returned it to a boil, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my containers as soon as I can get it cool. Um, so check that out. I have a new video that I'll put out too of Stinky Boy Detergent. Now let me just sit and chat for, with y'all for just a second, um, or just a few minutes. I've had a lot of people ask me, do they need an invitation or do they need <clears throat> a confirmation to come to the um, fashion show for the fourth at Purdue's store? You do not. Your invitation is that you saw it on here and you want to come. I'm going to have to try this. Brandy, you will not be sorry. I can assure you of that. I don't put stuff on this page that I'm not certain of. And if I am not certain of it, I'm gonna tell you that I'm not certain of it. But I know this works. Um, the second example was when Drew went to NC State and went into an apartment. One of his roommates, Zach, who actually gave me my nickname, Mama Lisa, um, he had a pair of Sanook shoes. Not Sanook. What are they called? Hey Dudes. Hey Dudes? 
Anyway, they stunk to high heaven and they were dirty. And so uh, he swears by this detergent because it got his shoes clean and he got, got the stink out of them so he could put them inside without the boys gagging and carrying on them, talking about his stinking feet. Anyway, <laughs> it works is what I'm telling you. Now you will need to check your washing machine to see if you need to make it into a powder or you need to make it into a liquid. But that's what I'm doing this morning in my kitchen. Jessica Phillips, good morning from East Bend. And good morning, Robin. Just imaginary farmer, baby boy. Love to, you know what? They don't, Robin. Uh, I, imaginary farming ha, has, hasn't had any of the rhubarb jam. Um, although I think he will enjoy it, and I'll fix him some with strawberry ice cream and just a little bit of that rhubarb jam spread over top of it or drizzled over top of it, and I think he would enjoy it. It's got a sour taste to it. I describe it as a Skittle. It tastes like a Skittle to me, but it's so good, and I think it's loaded in fiber. Anyway... I mean, it's the vegetables got to be good for you. It grows from the ground, right? Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Where is my coffee? Cookie, where's my coffee? Hang on just a second. Let me grab my coffee. What did I do with my coffee, girl? Oh, oh, here it is. It is right where I left it. Yes, it is, girl. Yes, it is. Anyway. Okay, sorry guys, it's coffee time here. Let's see, I hate I will not be able to make it. Susan, I hate you can't make it either, but I will be doing it virtual. So I'll, I will set the camera up and just let it play so y'all can see everything. And if the reception's good, I'll do it live. And if it's not, I'll have to pre-record. Love catching up. Well, thank you, Patricia. I'd like to have your rhubarb pie recipe. Uh, Donna, somebody else is gonna have to give you a rhubarb pie recipe because I didn't do a pie, I did a cobbler. And I did a stick of butter in the bottom of an eight, a nine by 13 inch pan. And then I uh, put it in the oven, melted it, brought it back out. I put a cup of sugar, a cup of self-rising flour, and a cup of milk. Poured that over the butter. And then I put strawberries and rhubarb over the top and baked it on four, uh, excuse me, 375 for about 40 minutes till it's golden brown. Anyway, good morning, Mary, and good morning, Linda. I hope everybody's having a good morning. There's 225 of y'all on here. I'm blessed. I appreciate it. What detergent were you talking about? Karen, watch this video back, girl. You're going to like this detergent. If you got stinky, stained up clothes. Yep, you're going to love it. And um, as soon as mine cools, I'm going to put it. I just, I just saved my regular containers that I buy for detergent. Oop. And I'm going to be putting mine back in here. Anyway. I, I save all kinds of empty uh, bottles. Like, I have a vinegar bottle that I'm going to put some of it in. Anyway, um, it does work. It's an awesome, awesome um, recipe to deter those stinking feet or stinking underarms or just stink. Swamp butt, all that, all that. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I think that's all I had to tell you guys, and um, I appreciate you following Keep watching. There's going to be fun stuff coming up on the page, and you're going to love it. Uh, I am going to go back to Seagrove and do some more with the potters there, and I'm so excited about that. Um, uh, it looks like in August. So if you are somebody that lives near Seagrove, we're going to be making stops along the way. There'll be an agenda. I would love to meet you. Would love it. So anyway, y'all take care, and if you come out tonight, uh, excuse me, come out tomorrow night, just know I will have cookbooks. I don't have a whole lot left, but the ones that I do have left, I'm going to take to Purdue's, and they'll be on sale tomorrow at Purdue's store. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys later, and I hope to see some of you tomorrow night. Take care and have a good day. Bye.